Hi, this video is a continuation of uh, the previous video on concept 2. So this is about center of mass of the flat plate or lamina, the centroid of the region R of the plane. This is given by x bar y bar, where x bar is given by the formula 1 over A integral A through B f of x d of x, where A stands for the area of the plate or thin lamina. Then for y bar, the y coordinate of the center of mass is centroid. In this case, is 1 over A integral A to B half of f of x square dx. Again, A denotes the area of the thin plate. Find the center of mass of the semicircular plate of radius r. So, we are going to consider a semicircular plate of radius r. Then we will prototype it um, on the xy plane. So, center is at the origin and the radius is given to be r. Um, so we can find, we can actually find out the equation of this circle, which is x square plus y square equal to r square, which is a one, which is a complete circle with center at the origin and radius r. So if you solve for y, y square equal to r square minus x square or y equal to plus or minus square root of r square minus x square. If we consider only the upper semicircle, upper part is only going to be y equal to square root of r square minus x square. The given radius is r, so that's the radius r here. So by looking at the figure, uh, the center of mass is the one that uh, balances uh, this thin plate. So we obviously notice that as, as the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis, the center of mass x coordinate must lie on the y-axis. So x coordinate x coordinate of the center of mass being on the y-axis is 0. Even if we use the formula x bar which is integral x times uh, integral oh in the formula it is x times f of x dx 1 over a so, make sure that you put the x times f of x, x f of x t of x, 1 over a, integral 0 to a, uh, this can be, in this case, negative r to positive r, x f of x t of x, and then it is 1 over area, um, even though we can compute this, by looking at this graph, we can say that the center of mass lies on the y-axis somewhere whose x-coordinate is 0. And we need to determine what this y-bar is. Even if you compute by the formula, the x times square root of r square minus x square dx, which is an odd function, being odd function from negative r to positive r, it becomes 0. You can also use substitution here if you want to use it um, and actually prove that to be equal to 0. But by looking at this as an odd function, we can definitely say the x coordinate of the center of mass is 0. We will find out the area. Um, area is only half the semicircle, half the circle, 
right is that is going to be pi r square divided by 2 half of pi r square that is the area of the circle area of the semicircle so that is found out then we are going to find out the y bar which is the y coordinate of the center of mass so y coordinate of the center of mass is going to be 1 over a integral negative r to positive r half f of x square f of x square is going to be in this case um, square of r square minus x square this is our f of x so it is 1 over a integral negative r to positive r half of r square minus x square within the radical that is being squared at d of x so 1 over 2a can be pulled out and then integral negative r to positive r square root of r square minus x square the whole square is just r square minus x square then dx um, r square is a constant so when you integrate it is going to be 1 over 2a then it is r square x minus x cube over 3 between the limits negative r to positive r but this being an even function we can actually write um, this is equal to this becomes twice and this becomes 0 to r so it is 0 to r and you are multiplying by 2 so by um, so this will become 1 over a r square x minus um, minus x cube over 3 between the limit 0 and r so it is 1 over a which is the reciprocal of area which is 2 over pi r square times if you multiply the upper limit and the lower limit which is r cube minus r cube over 3 it will be 2 over pi r square times uh, 2 r square over 3 so it's um, it's equal to r cube here 2 r cube over 3 so it is 4 then r uh, divided by 3 pi also we make a note that we use the fact that integral negative a to positive a fx dx equal to 0 if f of x is odd which is what we used when we did when we found out the x bar and then in the second case we used integral negative a to a fx dx equal to twice integral 0 to a fx dx if f is even that is what we used in this integral it was previously negative r to positive r and then we changed that to twice integral 0 to r. So make a note of these two.